have all the food, you have all the spices, you have all the things, you have everything you need. What about your medication? Just in case, what, what are you gonna do? Hi everybody, welcome back. How is everybody doing? We're coming in, I'm <laughs> coming to you from my bedroom. Yeah, we're in my bedroom right now. Rob and I have separate bedrooms and this is like the spare bedroom and when I can't sleep with Rob, there goes the cat because I've been very sick or my back pain, I come in here. I have spent a lot of time in here lately. I've had the coronavirus. Actually, I had COVID pneumonia, COVID pneumonia back in December, which I didn't, I didn't know that I had. And now I have ground glass opacity in my lungs and I'm having a hard time breathing. It's getting better every day and I'm feeling better every day, but it, it's been, it's been some time. Two days ago, I slept all day, so it all depends on the day how I feel. Today, I'm doing pretty good. So far, so good. I wanted to talk to you about this, this book I have, Be Your Own Doctor. With all the times coming, with all the threats and, and the way the world's going today, and people are preparing and getting food and water and gasoline and all the things they need. Have you thought about what are you going to do if you can't go to the doctor? Have you thought about that? I know there was a big power outage over in Italy and Pakistan and, and all of the electricity went out over there for a little while. What happens if that would happen in the United States or Canada or wherever you're from and it would stay that way for a while? You have food you have water, you have fire, you have all of that, but you can't go to the doctor. What do you do? I know that I take medicine every day. So does Rob. And I know probably some of you do too for blood pressure or whatever, whatever you need. I have a rod in my spine and fibromyalgia and all the things. So I take daily I take medication daily for that so what are you gonna do if you can't go to the pharmacy if you can't go to the doctor I have this book I got on Amazon called be your own doctor and this is an herbal home health care remedy by Rachel Weaver it has things in here what you can forage you can or ingredients that you might have in your house that is an alternative to actually medication if you can't go to the doctor. Like in my case now, some of the things in this book, I'm, I'm gonna try now to see if maybe I can get off some of my medication for like swelling and arthritis and things like that. In the index, they have this, you can only, can you see a big index here? There's things like chest congestion I have now. And I thought, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try what's in here for now because what the doctor's giving me, it's helping, but I just wanna try, try this. It's helping some, but not, not enough. Not enough for me. There's things for ear aches, anything you need. Asthma, I know my grandsons have asthma. And if they can't go to the doctor and get their inhalers or medication, they're, they're going to be in a world of hurt because they have asthma. Well, in this book, it talks about asthma and, and the things that you can use to treat the asthma that you might have around your house. You know, heart attack, there's something in here. If you have a stroke or a heart attack and you can't get to the hospital, you don't know what to do. There's things in here that you could probably do. Bladder infections. I know sometimes women get bladder infections and they're awful. And what do you do? There's something in here for bladder infections. So this is just a, a quick little video to, you know, what are you, what are you going to do if you can't go to the doctor? You have all the food, you have all the spices, you have all the things, you have everything you need. What about your medication? That's why I bought this book because Rob and I are, are planning ahead. We're not being crazy about it. Just in case, what, what are you going to do? Be your own doctor. I'm going to link this book in my description. I did get it from Amazon and it is an affiliate link and I'll make a little bit of money off of it, like five cents. I mean, but here, be your own doctor. 101, yeah, there you go. So, try it out, buy the book. Go look at it, check it out. Something to think about. It really is something to think about. All right, I will see you in my next video. Bye.